This is Twit. Uh, what do you do if you're an OEM and you don't actually update phones with the latest security updates, but you want it to seem like you do? Uh, you misrepresent it through the OS, apparently. Wired cited a security research lab researchers who spent two years analyzing Android security updates and how they line up with device patch uh, admissions on the phone as far as like, yes, you're up to this level. Well, were all the patches that were part of those previous levels that you're supposedly up to, were they actually included and are they represented on your device? Well, the report showed uh, how many vendors would not install a patch, but yet still change the patch date forward several months in many cases to reflect that it's more up to date than it actually is. They studied 1,200 devices uh, from all major brands, Obviously, the Pixel devices were free and clear. I think they there, there was none of this going on with the Pixel devices. Everyone else was guilty to some degree. Uh, Google did reiterate that you know uncertified devices could be a part of the results, uh, which you know would make make sense. They're held to a lower security standard. Uh, each update like I said, has a number of patches. So they say it's possible that some patches are accidentally missing from updates or that certain chipsets uh, might be the reason why certain patches are or are not applied, yet that date still carries forward. But there's really no way for the user to know that. They just look at the date. It says you're up to date from a security patch perspective. And then, you know, of course you're going to assume that you're up to date because it tells you that in the OS. Uh. That, that that concerns me and worries me. It's it's kind of shady. Yeah. And I don't know what we can do about it. I mean, it's 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 up there with this, you know, I, I don't I've been saying not on your show because I haven't been here since last year, but this year I've been really pushing hard on my show that as journalists, we should be completely intolerant of manufacturers that don't supply updates, sec at least security updates mm -hmm. um, in, in within a month. And I say new OS updates within three, right? And, and I'm going to hold them accountable to that. And if they're doing this kind of BS about, you know, faking the update dates and, and version numbers, I I think that's we should really nail them to the cross. I Absolutely. Mean, this is with, the with, biggest with, problem with Android. If you look at what we have today, yeah, all our is. phones are awesome. Whether we buy a low-end phone, a mid-ranger, or a high-end phone, we're getting really great hardware. Hardware is becoming a commodity. It's all about the software. So mm -hmm. let's get that software out there updated in a timely manner. Yeah. What do you think, Ron? How do you I'm not feel surprised. About this? Yeah, I'm not surprised. I think I think if anything, what we've learned in any c capacity, companies will figure out ways to cut corners, mm -hmm. right? And they'll figure out ways to manipulate systems, and they'll figure out ways to do all this sort of stuff. So, like, I, I'm uh, sadly I'm not surprised. And and Miriam, I agree with you that we we need to hold them accountable, and we need to be you know kind of you know not not really you know tolerate it. But at the same time, we going back to the ZTE thing, we live in a world of no consequences. Yeah, you know, like you know, really, what's what recourse do you have? It's like I feel like this is this is the one thing that uh, regular users are most powerless against. You know, your only choice well, there. Well, I think I think the recourse is that those people, at least on this show, who are listening to and watching the show, can yeah. vote with their wallet. Right. Buy a Pixel. That, yeah. Don't buy a Galaxy S nine. I'm sorry to say that it's a good phone. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even say don't buy a P20 because even though it's a phenomenal phone, as we'll see, the the software is a total disaster as usual because it's super skinned and everything. It is running 8.1, mind you, but the the point I'm making is it's only it's going to be running 8.1 for the entire life of the device, probably. Right. <laughs> right. So the, the, That's the thing great is, now. Though, like, not great later. <laughs> Ultimately, this is it doesn't matter if the, co the Pixel costs too much. Buy One Plus if the Kiss Pixel costs too much. You know that the One Plus at least is getting updated. Well, I mean, and, and I mean, what you're talking about, though, is an awareness of what, what all these companies, you know, what their security practices are, their update schedules. And when you're talking about Android with as many OEMs as there are that exist in the, in the world, that's really hard for the majority, you know, yeah. for like 99% of Android users to do, you know, and, and I know maybe and, they do and, and if that, they're listening or watching the shows like these. And but. that's why we need to hold these companies yeah. accountable as journalists, because the majority of people won't know. In the same way as the majority of people still buy phones locked to their care in the carrier stores. Yeah. I know people who are phone enthusiasts that still buy a phone to the carrier store because BOGO yeah. or whatever, right? right? Yeah, and because you get a good they have deal. a family plan. I'm not blaming yeah. you guys. I'm just saying like, you, when you make that decision, you're messing with what we're trying to achieve here. That's a signal. You've got to think about that.
that. Yeah. It's like, I know that it's not easy and you have to pay more money, but the reality is you have to think about it. Like if you continue supporting what the carriers are doing, the carriers are not invested in updating these devices. Yeah. So don't buy carrier devices. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and, and just real quick here, an app called Snoop Snitch is a way to check on this. Uh, 9 to 5 Google has instructions on checking your own device. You download the app run Android patch level test, then you can analyze the results. And it'll basically let you know if, you know, the from an individual patch standpoint, if your phone represents the those patches that would make up the patch level that your phone says you are at. So that's an app to check out.